Hey, what's up gamers and Force 5150 here. Go ahead and hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. We definitely have some new information that has come down into the Modern Warfare 2 world. And that is uh, some information with the new Ricochet anti-cheat, which we'll get into. And we have some new details on what we're going to get if we play the campaign. So let's go ahead and just kind of go over some of these things because they are actually not too bad. So let's go ahead and start with the operators. We get Hutch, Chewy, Reyes, and Nova. I'm pretty sure, we I know for a fact we had Hutch, Reyes, and Nova, Noah, but I don't know if we had Chewy at all. So that's actually kind of cool if we do, are getting a new one. Um, I think we get those characters regardless if we're in the open beta or not. Uh, they're saying that you get to unlock them, but I have a feeling that you're going to be able to use them anyway. But anyway, uh, we're going to get a new weapon blueprint, the Union Guard, which is uh, Captain Price's signature weapon. We also have emblems and double XPs, and we have the uh, uh, Soap's uh, Determination Calling card that we're going to be able to use in multiplayer when we finish the single player campaign. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go through the things that you're gonna get. It seems like a long list, but it's really not. You get the Calling card, Soap's Determination, the Emblem, what's done is done. You get a 30 minute double XP token and a 30 minute weapon XP token. You get another Calling card, which is Chain Linked, the base operator of Tru uh, Chewy. You get the 30 minute double XP and weapon XP. We also see that we're getting the calling card, Gaz, uh, no, another base operator, Nova, an hour double XP and weapon XP, the calling card, Shadow Company Ops, the other operator, Reyes, uh, two more uh, weapon XPs, which is one hour uh, weapon and X XP, and you get a hutch. So this list is definitely a little bit long. It On paper, it looks long, but it's really not a lot uh, when you consider you're paying a hundred dollars for this package. So that's the only thing that I'm thinking about is we paid a hundred bucks and these are the things that we're getting for the single player campaign. Now that's not to say that it's still not worth it. I definitely liked having the uh, early beta and everything and we do get this stuff for the beta but if you were not uh participating in the beta part and you just bought the 100 dollars pack now the vault edition you really lose a lot of the stuff that you would have had in the beta i really think that shouldn't have been a beta exclusive type thing for the things that you have uh released or they should have gave us more stuff for the campaign now, the main thing that we're really concerned about is obviously the weapon uh, blueprint because you get four pre-equipped attachments and having those when you jump into multiplayer is a good advantage. You don't have to level up your weapon as much and while you're leveling up your weapon to get to some of the attachments, you'll actually you know have it right away. So the things that we're getting, we're getting the assault rifle variant, which is Captain Price's signature weapon. Now, this comes with a V4 optic, reflex optic, the SZ M1W laser, the FSS covert silencer on the muzzle, and you get the lock grip, precision 40, under barrel, vertical grip. So you get a few of these attachments and you'll be able to go ahead and use them right away in the multiplayer. And that's about the main thing that is good. Is it worth the extra, what, 40 bucks that you have to pay for the Vault Edition? I personally can't say it for you, but for me, I, I feel like we're kind of falling a little bit short of what we should be able to get. Now I'm going to talk about Ricochet. <laughs> Ricochet is definitely uh, done better over the last few years. Up until about three months ago, they have done great things on stopping a lot of the hacking, the lots of the cheating and everything else. But we need to deep dive, or not even deep dive, but we just need to discuss a little bit about what they're doing in this version. What they decided to do is they're going to put out the new version, the PC kernel level driver for Ricochet at release date. Now, when this comes out at release date, we don't know how it it's going to adapt to some of the new cheats out there. Obviously, they have people that found out what codes they have for some of the hacks that are out there right now, and you know they're trying to counteract that. But having it come out right away on release date on the, October 28th is kind of ridiculous because you definitely want to have a lot more than that. Uh, you know, you have a little bit more study. I think they should have put it out another beta. They should have put out one more beta that had the new ricochet on it so they can see if who is trying to get 
by, see if they can, you know, get all that so we have a clean launch day. All I gotta say is that uh, cheaters are freaking stupid. They will cheat in the beta. They'll try to get everything. I don't know why they would want to boost their stats in a beta when those stats would probably just get wiped off anyway. So why not take advantage of that and get all the information and data from them while it's in beta before you have your official release date, which I think uh, if it's not on launch date, they'll have stuff for it on the next day and then, you know, Ricochet is going to be trying to figure out how to get by all this and how to actually stop all the cheaters from coming. Now, I do want to give them some props for some of the information that they released here. Uh, they mentioned here that in participation for the beta, Team Ricochet banned over 60,000 illicit accounts from our system, denying them access to the event. During the beta itself, over 20,000 bans were issued ejecting cheaters from participation now that is good news i mean they got a lot of a lot of people but twenty thousand people got in and that are already was not very good because a lot of those you've seen on youtube already you've seen people using these hacks and that just makes you think okay well they don't have their you know their stuff together so I really think they needed to have another beta just to make sure that launch day doesn't have any of these problems. Now, I wanted to talk about one of the other things they said about the Ricochet anti-cheat. Um, they also mentioned while they were not enabled for the beta, because this is the new Ricochet they're talking about, the PC kernel level driver, um, <clears throat> all existing mitigation systems will be active at launch for both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0, including cloaking, disarm, damage shield, and more. Cheaters can also expect a whole new host of in-game enforcement too. Learn more about the in-game mitigations from the progress report in the Q&A blog. Now I looked in there and I definitely took a look at a few of the things. If you're wondering what the cloaking disarm and shield is, the cloaking is basically when somebody is trying to cheat and they can't see you. When they're able to see you on the maps, pretty much anywhere, the anti-cheat kicks in and pretty much just makes it so they can't see exactly where you are and you're able to go ahead and just, you know, kill them. Disarm is a little funny. That one is just how it sounds. They disarm them. Uh, they don't have anything, not even fists, that they can uh, hit or do any damage with. So that is a little bit, that is a little bit funny. It, but the one that we've seen probably the most on any other like YouTube channel is the damage shield. That's basically where they can have auto auto aim anything on you and they can just keep on hitting you and it will just take a little bit of damage. They made it take a little bit more damage and it just seems ridiculous that they would even do that. But basically all they'll do is take a little bit of damage and then you can go ahead and kill them and then their whole idea behind this is so that they can collect data from these cheaters so that they can find out ways to uh, get past it. Now, I don't know how this is going to all work in the new uh, kernel level driver that they're putting out because you know we haven't seen it be working at all yet. We have no idea how fast um, you know cheaters are going to be able to get through this you know people are going to try to cheat at this like on launch day within hours they're going to find try to find loopholes anyway that is all we're going to do for this video today i know uh there's just so much to uncover for all this hopefully we will have a clean launch day i hope i'm wrong i really do because i just want to be able to play i took some time off of work i definitely just want to you know enjoy the weekend and you know play call of duty anyway i want to thank everybody for watching this video today make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel you'll take care and happy gaming